German Chancellor Angela Merkel is in Moscow for talks with President Vladimir Putin. This is her last official trip to Russia as she prepares to step down next month after nearly 16 years. For more, we're joined by Julia Chapman in Moscow. Julia, what can you tell us about Merkel's agenda in Moscow? That's right. This is Angela Merkel's final visit to Russia as German Chancellor. In fact, her 20th in those 16 years. And Angela Merkel has never uh, shied away from maintaining dialogue with President Vladimir Putin, despite many accusations that have been uh, sent from the West to his government. And there are certainly a lot of agenda items today uh, on their final meeting in her capacity as Chancellor. They will be discussing Ukraine, Belarus and Nord Stream 2, that controversial pipeline that the US tried to stop from happening, uh, which is now nearing completion. That will allow gas flows to double from Russia to Germany once it's up and running, possibly as early as the end of next year. That's caused a lot of concern in Ukraine, which is worried about Kremlin control over energy supplies. Uh, but German Chancellor Angela Merkel has assured Ukraine and the rest of uh, the West that uh, there are certainly levers of pressure still against Russia. And of course, there's some symbolism to the date that Angela Merkel has chosen to visit Russia. It's exactly one year after Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition figure, uh, was poisoned. Uh, of course, uh, he was then later airlifted to Germany for medical treatment, where doctors and scientists said he was poisoned with a nerve agent. Now, Russian, the Russian government denies any involvement in that. They say that the poisoning took place instead when when Navalny was being taken to Germany. Uh, but certainly, Angela Merkel has never shied away from raising human rights issues, and she is expected to do so again today. And Julia, will they be talking about uh, Afghanistan? They certainly will, and uh, it is, of course, one of the most pressing items on the international agenda, but one that Germany and Russia are taking slightly different stances on. Uh, of course, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has called the Taliban takeover uh, terrible, and she has been working to evacuate uh, Afghan refugees, although has come under some criticism for not going far enough in doing so. Whereas President Vladimir Putin actually hasn't commented on the situation in Afghanistan this week. We're hoping to hear from him at the upcoming press conference alongside his German counterpart. But representatives from the Russian government have certainly uh, had a different tune uh, to most of the rest of the world, more similar to that of China. They have chosen not to close the Russian embassy and have spoken of positive behavior from the Taliban, however, saying that the group will be judged by their deeds, not by their words. All right. Thank you so much, Julia Chapman, for us in Moscow.